Welcome back to another Millennial In Debt video. If you are new here, hit that subscription button below, turn on the notification bell so you get that every single time I upload a video. Yo, it's 4.30, I am bracing the sun, but can I just tell you how amazing I feel knowing that we are getting closer and closer to the sun and further and further away from the darkness that is winter. So we have like a little less than 40 days depending on when this goes up. March 14th is our first 7 p.m. sunset and March 18th we're gonna have 12 hour days. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars. I know that's why we're not here. We're here to talk about money. We're here to talk about high yield savings accounts. But mark your calendars. Do it. Pause the video. I'll wait. I've waited enough. All right. So we are going to be talking about high yield savings. I have been screaming on Instagram, gently screaming on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, my email subscribers for as many people to get in on it. Okay, if you do not have a high yield savings account, I want you to first finish watching this video and then go and open. By the time you finish watching this video, you could have already opened an account. Opening account is gonna fit into the amount of time, depending how, okay, all right, I'm gonna stop rambling. If you do not know what a high yield savings account, a high yield savings account is a regular degula savings account with a higher interest rate. So typically, if you have a brick and mortar bank like Chase or Citibank or Bank of America, Wells Fargo, they're going to offer you a savings that is abysmal. They're gonna offer you pennies, pennies for your money, right? So right now, national average is 0.32%, and that is because when we talk about average, obviously we know high yield savings accounts are also going to be a part of the mix, but on average, you're gonna get 0.001 or 0.002% interest. Like, how rude could y'all be, truly, right? But then we bring in the high yield savings account, which is usually going to be a digital account, so not many brick and mortar. There are very far and in between, very few brick and mortars are going to offer a high yield savings option, right? But Capital One is one of those banks. So I have Capital One 360, and right now their interest rate is 3.4%. Because of all the federal spikes, hikes, whatever, in interest, we're currently at a federal rate of 4.5 to 4.75%, which means the banks are going to make it a lot more expensive to borrow money because those interest rates are going to go up. So if you've been looking for a mortgage, if you've been looking for a personal loan, if you've been looking for a car loan, you're noticing the rates are starting off at around 9% for people with really good credit. Whereas a year ago, we were looking at 2 to 5%. So 2 to 5 versus nine, we, we're clearly, we inhale, y'all. The one good positive thing is with all of the federal interest raises, hikes, increases, we also have seen our high yield savings come back to their original glory because when that panini hit and our high yield savings dropped to 0.3%, that was because the Federal Reserve interest rate was at zero, right? So we see how they're kind of correlated. So if you do not have a high yield interest, high yield savings account, now is the time to open one, baby. Now is the time to capitalize because everything else is going to hell in a handbasket. So why not? Why not make as much money as we can in interest wherever we can? So currently I've been sharing what my Capital One 360 account has been earning. In January 2023, I earned over $100 in interest. Compare that to all of 2022, where I earned about 180 for the entire year as those rates started, slowly started to go up, right? So we saw like the 0.3 to 0.6 range. And then when we finally hit back to 1%, it was like, oh my goodness. And now high yield savings are moving into the 4 to 5% range. And this video is going to list 10, you thought I, you thought I messed up, right? 10 high yield savings with 4% interest or higher that you can open up today. A really, really, really important thing, two important things that I want to remind you, do not spend a long, long, long amount of time. Seriously, this video length is really the only amount of time you want to take to think and consider which bank to open up with because the, the important part is to open and start getting that interest, baby. So whenever you're looking for a new financial institution, especially for a savings account, you wanna make sure that they're FDIC insured. If they are not FDIC insured, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else, right? So all of the banks that I'm going to list here today are going to be FDIC insured. Outside of that, you just wanna make sure they're also not a part of scandals, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, I'm talking to y'all. You want to make sure they're not a part of scandals or doing anything kind of sleazy with money or being brought up on charges. I like to do a little quick Google search before I open any account with a financial institution to make sure they're not, you know, caught up in what they should not be caught up in because, baby, 
Uh-huh. Wells Fargo, you done you done did a couple things, haven't you? Okay. The next thing you want to consider when you're putting in your money is what is the interest rate? What are the fees? Is there a minimum balance? Do you have to have a minimum amount to open the account? So all the information that you need, I'm gonna provide with each bank. And because Capital One ain't keeping up with the keep up, although I truly, truly love them, any account that is less than 4%, I am not going to list. It does not mean that they are not good. I've done two other high yield savings interest videos. I will link those in all the places that need to be linked so you can see other banks that I have suggested. So I know there are people gonna be in the comments talking about, but what about Marcus? What about American Express and Ally and SoFi? And all amazing, amazing institutions. Like I said, do not spend a bunch of time trying to figure out where to put your money. Put your money where it's going to earn the most amount right and make you feel good about your your banking customer service experience i like capital one so i'm just waiting for them to hit that four percent mark so let's get right into the 10 high yield savings accounts that you can put your money into to gain as much interest in 2023 as possible let's get right into it first up we got bread financial high yield savings with an apy of four percent they are fdic insured like every bank on this list duh and you need a hundred dollars to open an account Interest is accrued and compounded daily and credited monthly. Some of the benefits on this account are no hidden fees, no monthly maintenance, free ACH transfers, and unlimited deposits via mobile check capture. They do, however, charge $15 per official check request and $5 per paper statement request. The second bank on this list is BMO with a 4.20% interest rate. You will need four things to sign up for an account with BMO. That's your contact info, basic information like your date of birth and social security number, citizenship status, and banking information to start adding money to your savings account. Our third bank is Lending Club. You will earn an unlimited 4.0% APY with no monthly fees and unlimited external transfers. You will need $100 to open this account as well. Lending Club also provides a free ATM card to access your money quickly and easily. They also state you can open an account with them in three minutes or less. Though Wealthfront isn't a bank, they are FDIC, insuring your money up to $2 million through their partner banks. Wealthfront offers a high yield savings with 4.05% APY, no account fees, and you can open your account with as little as $1. There's no minimum balance needed, and you will also have unlimited fee-free transfers. Fitness Bank is quite interesting as it's pairing fitness with finance. You earn 5% APY on their elite checking or 4.25 to 4.5% APY, dependent on whether you open a fitness savings with an elite checking or only a savings account. If you've got two minutes and Fitness Bank piques your interest, you can open up your account today. Six on the list is UFB Bank with a 4.21% interest rate and zero monthly maintenance fees. This bank also does not require a minimum deposit to open an account and you can earn 4.21% no matter your balance. Some banks have a balance cap, this one does not, okay. Seventh bank on our list is First Foundation. They are currently offering 4.2% APY and a really cool savings calculator where you can figure out just how much interest you would earn based off your balance or savings goals for the future. And of course, FDIC insured for the win. Next on the list is Betterment. Similar to Wealthfront, they are a fintech company, not actually a bank, but their high yield savings account is currently offering 4% and FDIC insuring up to a million dollars. There is no minimum balance to keep the account open, but you need to have at least $10 to open the actual account. With unlimited withdrawals, you also have to pay $0 in monthly maintenance fees. Ninth on the list is Vio Bank at 4.17% APY. They are FDIC insured for up to $250,000. You will have a six withdrawal limit for free and you will need $100 minimum to open an account. Interest is compounded daily and there is no monthly maintenance fees unless you're requesting a paper statement. Then you will have to pay $5 a month. Last on the list is Premise, a very, very Gen Z friendly financial institution. You can open your account with just $1 and earn 5.03% APY. They are FDIC insured for up to $250,000 and there's no minimum balances, service fees, or transaction limits. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that once this video has ended, you're going to go open that high yield savings if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.